This is uh, another unboxing for uh, Star Edition UK uh, Google Plus Group. A new Gundam version car uh, from Bandai. It's a massive grey kit. Um, the version car is a uh, version Kotoki. Um, means that they uh, some added details and uh, other things. It's a, a, a guy's interpretation of the suit of one of the mobile suits, so that's as far as I understand it. Uh, I've been after this guy for a long, long while. A, a lovely kit from what I've seen. Um, a guy on uh, here, YouTube, I'll link his channel, uh, Stuart Love, has done a, uh, uh, a brilliant uh, build of this, which actually won bronze at the um, uh, Telford uh, I I think it's the uh, big model show in Telford. Um, I, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the name of it. Uh, this one bronze in this category, his version of this. Um, well done to him for that. Yep. And uh, he also won the uh, Hobby in Japan uh, trophy. Uh, and congratulations to that as well for his uh, build of. The uh, Zaza Beaver car, which again is a, a beautiful uh, kit he did there. Uh, I'll link his channel in the description so you can uh, have a look at that. Now, I'm wondering if I can get the lid off this box one handed. Again, a uh, box full, full of plastic, which uh, all of us can uh, appreciate, I think. What really appeals to me about these uh, uh, Dungeon Kits is the inner frames, uh, all the mechanical details, and, and stuff like that that you get. Uh, so, you have one. Uh, that has four stickers, um, decals as well, uh, water side decals, I'm hoping I haven't opened this up to have a check yet. Um, quite often get uh, dry transfers, but I'm not a fan of those to be honest. So that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stand and the manual. Uh, again, um, you watch the uh, previous videos I've done. The, the manuals are so. Uh, pretty good uh, to follow even if you don't read Japanese. Uh, some artwork here. And uh, some background to the suit. Here we have finished kit and some of the things you can, uh, how you compose it. Uh, this kit comes with um, one set of these uh, uh, fin funnels. I'm thinking about trying to track down a, uh, a second set to do uh, so it's got one either side. Uh, I believe Bandai did release a, um, a second set of fin funnels for it. Um, it's like an optional upgrade. But in the anime it's my understanding that it just has the one set. Yeah, um, don't need to read Japanese. Uh, the manual is pretty self-explanatory. I'm so looking forward to building this kit. Um, it's been on my uh, want list for a long while, and I managed to uh, get it again in October, um, early birthday gift to myself um, from Japan Cool. 
Uh, again, great guys to work to to order from. Um, uh, I mean, I was in the area as well, so uh, I was able to pick up uh, pick up the kits that I ordered, which was a uh, great met uh, Shane who uh, who runs it and. Uh, so uh, had a good good long chat with him, friendly guy. Again, yes, the the, the manual is uh, very self-explanatory. Uh, the other thing is, the, um, you can uh, buy uh, LED units for some of these to light the heads and other areas of the kits. Um, they also have uh, like gimmicks. Uh, yeah, so they uh, have hidden sections and the weapons can move around a lot. Uh, different things uh, for different kits. Uh, this one has a uh, what's called a psycho frame, so it's got some clear plastic parts um, underneath the armour. You know, to see a uh, colour guide. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to uh, up my game on the build of this if I'm going to come anywhere close to Stuart, uh, Stuart's uh, kit. Uh, I, I love the, what he did with that. Um, yeah, that's the manual. And I'll just cut here while I uh, open a couple of these bags up and uh, take a look at what's inside. Alright, so I've unbagged some of the um, runners. Uh, a couple of the white parts, uh, white armor parts. Uh, this is the um, uh, weapons and shield. Okay, I mean the, the detail that they get on these is, is fantastic. And again, I've never had a problem with flash or a, a warped part or anything like that with these kits. Um, what's really cool is, like, like I said before, the, the inner frames for these. Um, kits, uh, the mechanical detail. I mean, most of it's hidden by armor, but you could really uh, go to town on uh, on these things, um, which I will probably be doing. Um, I know most of it's going to be hidden, uh, but I love the mechanical design of these things, and uh, I think I need to paint in detail. These come across here. We've got some of the um, armors, the uh, side skirts for the mobile suit, and the uh, the head uh, face mask, uh, face plate. Uh, I mean, and again, the detail it is really good on these. And uh, there's the little pilot. I can't remember his name offhand. I want to say Amaro, Amaro Ray, maybe, but I'm probably going to get flamed for getting that wrong. And again, some more of the uh, inner frame areas. Now, I believe that these aren't so much reliant on poly caps as the other ones. Um, they're more uh, bucket, uh, socket, and ball joints. Here we have the uh, decal sheets. Uh, I've, I'm not opening the bag for these. Um, I don't want to damage them before I get on, on with me here. This is a, another thing with the uh, Kotoki kits, all of our car kits. Uh, a lot of decals. Uh, kind of reminds me I still need to paint him but yeah that's um, uh, what you get I mean a snap fit hit again but uh, a bit of glue here and there will hurt in some places um, and they look they look great if you just build them up um, yeah they look great if you paint them uh, 
and while they do look intimidating just for the amount of parts that you get with them, uh, they they are very simple to put together. And if you just take your time. Yep. Right. Thanks for watching. Bye.